Hey everybody, this is John Zepp. Welcome back to Sales Actually. So, I uh, promised a couple of weeks ago that I was going to do a review of one of my favorite sales books. And so, I'm going to do that real quick today. It will not be a long, drawn out review because those can get boring. So, I'm just going to give you some highlights and encourage you to get this book regardless of where you are in your sales path. Right? I read this book early on in my sales career and it has had an impact on my entire career. So, I would highly recommend this one. And the other thing I'd, I'd, I'd ask is, hey, if you've got a book out there that you that have, has made an impact on you, you know, put it in the comments below and I'll take a look at it. And if I've read it, I'll do a review. If I haven't, I'll go read it and then do a review. So uh, put your comment in below. Be curious to know what, uh, what books have impacted your sales career. So the book I'm talking about is um, How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Sales by Frank Betcher. Frank uh, was 29 years old, failing as an uh, insurance salesman, and by the time he was 40, he was incredibly successful, you know, on a big estate, making a ton of money, and uh, doing really, really well. So this book really is uh, a foundation for whatever um, sales you're in, whether it be houses, cars, uh, software, hardware, insurance, whatever. If you're in the selling game, this is a book for you. So I'm going to give you, a, you know, let me give you a little bit of background on it. So this book was first published in 1947. So it's a little bit old school, but there's principles in there. It doesn't matter what's going on. These things are realistic and uh, applicable today. Uh, so even though it's an old book, um, it's been republished several different times, but originally in 1947. So that's, that's interesting, right? So uh, Frank, I'm sure is long dead, um, but you know, um, he, he had an impact and is still having an impact. So there's four key areas that are um, important in this book to, to keep in mind. One is the power of enthusiasm. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, and there's a phrase in the book that he uses. It says, to be enthusiastic, act enthusiastic. So it's not always easy to be enthusiastic every minute of every day. But if you're, if you're going to get to that point, you just got to act it, right? Walk faster. Talk faster. Do things a little bit quicker. Um, don't don't be slow in anything, right? So um, that that really stuck out to me, and I'll talk about more of that in a minute. Uh, second thing is how to conquer fear, right? How do I get past that fear of whether it be you know knocking on a door, having the first meeting with a customer, picking up the phone, right? Send an email to somebody, you know, connecting on LinkedIn. That that fear is real, and and until you overcome it and figure out how to to be successful in spite of the fear. Uh, you're going to struggle. So how to conquer fear is really important. Um, there's a key word for turning a skeptical client into an enthusiastic buyer. I'm not going to tell you that word. It's in the book. But uh, if you'll uh, put a comment below, I'll reply and I'll tell you what that word is. But there is a key word to know to change some of the skeptical into enthusiastic buyer. Huge, really, really huge. And then the, the last thing I'll point out is uh, the quickest way to win confidence. And that's part of the book as well. So there are two areas that really stuck out to me and I'll spend a little time on these. Um, one of them is uh, in order for anyone to be successful in sales, they've got to figure out how to deal with rejection. And uh, the, you have a certain number of no's before you get to a yes. Frank's trick is the best way to put it was um, he would every morning he would pick up 10 pebbles put him in his left pocket or right pocket, I forget which, but put it in one of his pockets. And every time he met with a customer or a, you know, a potential customer, a prospect, and he got a yes or no, didn't matter. He'd move one pebble, the pebble, one pebble from one pocket to the next, to his other, right? So what he figured out is that if he got 10 no's in there, he's going to get a yes. And so I don't know what that number is for you. Um, it depending on, it depending on your, um, your industry, your techniques, your skill set, how you go about it, that number might be, I don't know, 50, 100, might be 10, might be two, I don't know. But you've got to get through a certain number of no's before you get to a yes. So his view, and, and I agree with it, and it made a huge impact on my life, is get to those no's as fast as possible, right? How many can you knock out in a day to get you to, closer to that yes? And so whether it's phone calls or emails or you know, knocking on doors or whatever, have a number in mind that, that you know it's going to take to get to a yes. When I was early on in my sales career at IBM, I made a sheet 
this is a long time ago, so you know there's all kinds of electronic ways to do this. But I just I just printed out a sheet that had um, numbers on it for number of calls and emails, and once and I made a call, I took one off. And what I was able to do from that is determine it took me X number of calls to get someone to answer the phone. And it took me X number of conversations, because I marked those off as well, to get to a, an opportunity. And it took a certain number of opportunities to close to get to the number I was, I was working towards. So keeping track of all that, keeping score of that is critical, right? You, you, gotta, you gotta know what it takes. You gotta know how many no's it takes to get to a yes. And so that's a huge thing that, that I learned out of that. And then the enthusiasm piece when it made a huge impact on me. Um, I, I'm pretty laid back, calm. You know, a, a boss I had at Microsoft, you know, called me a calming force. I'm not sure what that means, but nothing really ruffles me. Well, that can be good and bad, right? You, you, you gotta have enthusiasm in what you do for, because the customers catch that. And so I had to learn to be enthusiastic in, in everything I did, as a, especially as related to a customer. And so that enthusiasm, you know, to, to be enthusiastic, act enthusiastic. So one of the things that, that Frank talks about in the book is walk faster. Where, wherever you're going, pick up your pace. Walk a little bit faster. What that does is gets the heart going, gets your blood pumping a little bit more, and will increase your enthusiasm. So take that to heart. Walk a little bit faster everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Um, I wouldn't suggest driving faster, although that could do the same thing, but it could also get you in trouble. So don't, don't do that, but, but walk faster anywhere you're going. So uh, kind of keep that in mind. Uh, a few key things out of that book. I'll have the link to it on Amazon in, uh, in, the, in the description below. Um, it's still available in written form, Audible, you know, any way you want it. It's out there. Uh, Kindle, it's, it's available. So uh, again, I'll have the link in the uh, description below. Great book. Um, go get it. It's worth reading, regardless of where you are in your sales uh, skills and experience. This is a book that's worth reading if you haven't already. So there's my review of How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Sales by Frank Betcher. Uh, that's, uh, that's all I got today. Have a great day and go sell something. Thanks, everybody. Take care.